Hello, my name is Michael Evans. I'm Richard Children. For Jovi. This is Cards and Boards. We just finished playing a reanimator board game, which we will have a link to in the description how to get to show that if you want to watch us play it. Uh, now we're going to give our opinions on it. Um, it's interesting where you have to have cooperative play because you're all basically playing the same character. And if you want to do one thing and if you want to do other things, you either have a long discussion or you go, yeah, whatever. I think we did a lot of yeah, whatevers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. it it's an interesting game. The only two things I don't like about it. The first one is the putting together the pieces. That looks annoying as all balls. It apparently, is there enough room for most of them to go in here uh, it's fully constructed? I just don't trust it, so, like I say, and you'd have to put glue, if you they're, glue it together. Yeah, they're, yeah, you'd have to glue them together, and at which point, yeah. you could have had a board. Uh, see, I found the 3D, uh, when I first saw this on Kickstarter, I thought the 3D building were, uh, were kind of gimmicky, but I'm like, no. I like the three. I, I think the three D buildings are much better than a board. Personally, I like I, I like three D building. I think it looks cooler. I meant more for setup because setup means that you're taking fifteen to twenty minutes to set up all the buildings right. Uh, if you know how to do them, I when I tried to put it together, I did it wrong. So, well, a trained monkey can't do it. Neither can I. Yeah. Uh, the second thing I don't like about it is it seems to go on for five rounds too long. Everything that needs to be done. Since every level, there's six things that you, the six reanimations you can try. None of them count except the last one. Yes, the last one has to. Succeed. Well, they count in the. Uh, you they, get nothing. Well, if you fail, you uh, depend on if you fail by so much, you will lose. But you basically just go here and get your things back again. If you lose by too much, you could lose a game. Yes. It's one of those things. And, but like it I said, could have no, all been I'm, done in the first run. I'm, I'm not arguing with you about that because, like I say. Honestly, I shouldn't like this because he has a good point. Yes. None of the other turns matter. He, uh, also, the fact that there's not a lot of game in here. Uh, it's more of an activity than a game. I think the only reason I like this is I'm a B-Movie fan. I'm a fan of Lovecraft. <laughs> so the scene really gets me. And it's a, a storytelling game about uh, yes. uh, based off a, a movie, based off H.P. Lovecraft writing. I think, but I love this game. I think it's great. I, I, I honestly, I love this game, and I think it's just because of the theme. After a while, I found the cards were repetitive. Well, that's possibly because we had to shuffle them in at one point. Some of, but, but some of them, there were a lot of the uh, your past catches up to you or yes. whatever it is. There's six or seven of those. Yeah. yeah. In each of them. But like I say, it's like all, all his arguments are all valid points. Yes. And... They're all reasons I should not like this game. <laughs> really, I don't know why I like this game so much. I, it's the cars, I find the cars are well written, and I, I find it really has a, a really good atmosphere. And honestly, I think I care more about Steam's the mechanic when it comes to games like this. Because, like I say, I'm originally a role player. And with role playing, the system doesn't matter nearly as much as the people playing it. So if you get a good group playing this game, like I say, if if you're enjoying the story stuff, like the, the game part doesn't actually matter, and I think that's why I like it so much. There are two ways to play this game: defensively and aggressively. We all played cautiously and defensively, which is why we would win. Um, if you want to risk things, like not trying to heal yourself up each time, <laughs> not trying to start each round with full sanity and full health, well, you probably um, end with a lot better than what we had. Actually, we had maxed um, tones. Yep. We had max ingredients. Yep. We had um, max four health. rerolls. Max health before we decided to go for more rerolls. So, actually, there's one thing that probably puzzles me with this uh, game. Do the front lines represent him going off to World War One, which he did in the story, or a dance hall, which somebody the gambling did. hall, yeah. <laughs> which is, I believe, what they said in their video, but I don't. But like I say. It makes more sense, the uh, front lines is probably, like, say, where they're going to send people off to war or where the bodies yes. come back from. Yes. Because no, when you're coming back, because body coming back from war, no one's going to really notice a couple going missing. Yes. And World War One, that was terrible. Uh, but losing to Sanity for visiting, that means the trenches to me. But anyway, that's a minor quibble. Um, a few other things that may have been misprinted on cards. Um, 
I don't think we came in with any um, across any of the ones this playthrough, but on a previous play playthrough we looked at it and um, you had to do the next card card as opposed to next account or whatever. Um, so hopefully the next version of the game they fix those. Other than that, it was enjoyable, but if you were up doing the same style of play, it was relatively flexible. Like you could sit down and three cards are over, okay, these are the four places we have to visit this time. Yeah, it was always the same. Yeah, gotta go here, gotta go here. It was fun, yeah. but I don't think it has much replay value beyond maybe showing it to new people and going, isn't that cute? And then you're done. Now, there's a game called Tales of Raving Night, which is basically you're going around and you're reading, basically, you're reading cards and telling you a story, but you have no control over it. Now, uh, I every time I hear about it, I think, oh, God, I do not want to try that game. This seems to be pretty much the same thing, but I really like this. So... If you like the scene of the, the Lovecraft scene, if you like the Reanimator scene, and you're you you, rather, you really like the scene, you you probably like this. If you don't like if you don't like the scene, you're not gonna like this. Stay away from it. Uh, like I say, I really love the scene, so I really like I, this. I really like this game, and it draws from several other. Do with those things like Yig shows up. Um, That's all ends the people from Dun and Witch. Yeah. You know, all the um, classics of the trope. So, like I say, it's one of those if you like the theme, you'll probably enjoy the game. Uh, as long as you're not looking for a really deep uh, game. Uh, if, you, if you enjoy the scene more than looking for a good game, this is great. Okay. If you're looking for a good game, there's not. There's not a whole lot of game in here. It's uh, a very theme over mechanic. It's very, uh, it's not even so much not even the Ameritrash theme over mechanics. It's more of a uh, you're sort of just along for the ride a lot of the time. There are choices, but they're sort of superficial. But I still like the game, and I don't know why. Bad taste. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. well, Salt taste. Anyway, those are our opinions, and uh, as we said, there's a link to the game down there. If you like what you've seen, please uh, please comment. Let us know what you think. If you uh, if you played the game, if you like, let us know what you think. If you liked it, if you don't like it, let us know uh, why you liked it or didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And if you feel like subscribing and liking us, well, that's great. We just need another. What, 980 people to do that or something? Like that? <laughs> uh, don't worry about us getting paid. It's not going to happen. <laughs> but, if, but like I say, keep watching the videos if you enjoy what we're doing. Yeah, and subscribe so you know what's coming Let people out. know. If you, think, if you have friends you think would like what we're doing, just let them know about it. Um, well, if you haven't bought Army someplace and feel like making a thousand fake accounts, well, we didn't tell you to do that. We should try playing it backwards. What, the game backwards? No, the report, well, that would be interesting too, but I meant the video. the video backwards. Play, take the video, run it backwards, see if it's in. You won't even watch it forwards! <laughs> <laughs> so, I might watch it backwards. <laughs> we might so, get unlikes. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, we got a few, on, we got a few thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> That's our opinions on this game. Um, I'm not sure what it costs, so I can't say whether it's worth the money or not. I don't remember, and I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's still in print. Oh, well, like I say, this this came like I say, K Shard just came out recently, so it should be going into mass uh, market yep. soon. So if you like it, buy it. Tell them we sent you. Hey, wait, not? But like I say, <laughs> watch the video if if you like how you, if you like the look of the game if, or is, is the scene stuff like that. It's you're probably going to like the game. If you don't like the scene, just walk away. Yeah. If you don't recognize Dunwich, Innsmouth, and all the rest of those words. It might not be for you. It's not for you. Just like I say, the, deep, the, 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 the game itself isn't that deep, mm -hmm. but the lore is. Yeah. So, again, a great Cthulhu game if you like Cthulhu stuff. And I think that's everything. Yep. Yeah. So, again, subscribe if you feel like it, like it if you feel like it. And comment, comment for sure. Yep. And that's been us. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.